Hello Virtuals family, welcome to Virtual Skills. My name is Nancy. In today's video, what we have for you is how to make delicious chicken rice soup. The delicious chicken rice soup you are seeing in my pot tasted so delicious and yummy. I twisted it my own method which turned out very nice and delicious. If you want to know how I came up with this delicious chicken rice soup, let's dive right into the video. we have for the delicious chicken rice soup are set on my countertop already I got here some hard chicken thigh to make this soup please note that whether live or frozen chicken it has to be hard because hard chicken cook longer and tastes great don't use soft chicken okay in Ghana here we call it hard or soft I've forgotten what they call it in Nigeria though but hard or salt is very easy to understand I got some crayfish which is totally optional I got some salt to taste, seasoning cube and tomato paste This is over here where I come from that is what we call it but the Ghanaians call it pekrese I got some basil you can use spinach if you so wish but whichever leaf you want to use make sure you use little because it's light soup okay this is my sweet red bell pepper for more color. This is my peeled ginger, onion, green scotch bonnet pepper, bell leaf, garlic, red cod bonnet pepper, and fresh tomatoes. Please note that you can use any spices of your choice, but the set of spices I am using is the best so far. I've cut the chicken thighs off the camera. Next is to prep the chicken to get rid of the fine hairs that are left on the chicken thighs or any part of the chicken. That is if you are using a full whole chicken. You can use your stove top to do this, but as you can see, I am using my oven. Now I will set it in the oven for just 5 to 8 minutes. You don't have to leave it for a long time, okay, because you are just prepping it, alright? As the chicken is prepping, I want to dice all the diceable into smaller sizes so that it will be very easy for me to blend smoothly. I'll be dividing the fresh spices into two, one part for the seasoning of the chicken while the other part is for the soup. To be frank with you, this is the vital part of this cooking process, laying of your flavors and also seasoning so that at the end your chicken is strongly flavorful and concentrated and also well seasoned. my fresh spices I will add a little water to help the blender and I will blend them until they are perfectly smooth remember I got fresh ginger garlic onion and scotch bonnet pepper in the blender yeah it is good to go after blending my fresh spices I find out that the chicken is well prepped can you see how beautiful it looks like I will now transfer it to my pot and then zoom off the cooking now the chicken is on the stove top but I'm not on the heat. I will add my bell leaf, the ihok reho which is pekrese in chill language. I will put it on that so that I will get the flavor very well and I will add my fresh spices and after which I will add my seasoning cube and some salt to taste and some tomato paste. The goal here is to have a most concentrated flavor while the chicken is cooking in order to really take out the most flavor as possible before we add the liquid part of the soup to attain that stock. After mixing it very well, I will cover the pot and I'm going to cook the chicken on a medium heat for 30 minutes and stir in between those minutes off camera. Wow, look at that. I opened it in between the 30 minutes and this is what we got. We will allow it to cook more. You know it's a hard chicken. You really need to cook well. And I really want the stock to thicken up. Okay, so that the chicken will have a nice taste. Mmm, do you see how thick the chicken stock is now? This is exactly what I'm aiming at. I will now stir it very well and add some water to it. Because it's a hard chicken, we need to cook it more and then add my royal bell pepper, fresh tomatoes and onion. And I slightly cut them with kitchen knife so that they will cook on time and easily. I will cover and allow them to cook until it is soft. After 10 more minutes, as you can see, the veggies are well cooked. I will remove them and blend. The essence of adding these cooked veggies is to boost to the taste and the color of the soup, okay? After 
adding my cooked veggies to the blender I will now add some crayfish and I will blend until they are well smooth after blending the veggies I will add it to the soup but I will save it because I want the soup to remain light though it is optional but bear in mind that if you add the blended ingredient without saving it, at the long run it might thicken up. Guys, don't forget that I added my remaining ginger and garlic under the crayfish I just added to the blender, meaning that everything is inside the stuff I am saving now. Look at that color. Wow, this is lovely. This is beautiful. I will cover it and allow it to cook well. The soup has been boiling for over 20 minutes now, the chicken is well cooked. I'm stirring it very well as you can see. The next thing is to check and balance the test. I love this part and I find out that the test was really excellent. The soup has been on a low heat simmering and I cover it halfway as you can see and now it is beautifully ready. The next thing I will add is some green pepper to beautify it and for more spices. You can add carrot, garden egg or anything you know that can give it that beautiful and lovely look. Now I cover it and allow it for a while. Next I will add some fresh washed basil leaf for more freshness and taste. You can use baby spinach if you so wish but I like the taste basil leaf used to give to my chicken light soup. On this junction virtuous family our delicious chicken light soup is ready. Let's go to the table and do it some good. You can enjoy this delicious chicken rice soup with any swallow of your choice. You can as well enjoy it with rice. But for me, I'm going to enjoy it with this fufu you see me making. I have this recipe on my channel. You can check it out in the description box, okay? Wow, Ventures Family, the kind of aroma going on in my kitchen right now is quite awesome. The soup is delicious and it's so inviting. You can't resist this soup. Please give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoy what you see today. Subscribe to our channel with a notification bell to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Share this video to families and friends and drop your comment. Try this recipe and give us your feedback in all our social media handles as usual. This is all we have for you for today. Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next one. Bye bye.